Hello everyone, let's start with question number 9 of exercise 1.2 NCRT example. So in this we have said that we need to calculate that we need to tell them whether it is terminating or non-terminating decimal expansion without performing long division method. So if we need to do without long division then we need to take prime factors of the numbers given. Now to save time I have already done for 987 and 10500. So for 987 we can write is 3 into 7 into 47 over 10500 can be written as 5 is 3 times. So 5 cube. 3 is only 1, 3 raised to power 1, 7 is 1 only and we are left with 2, 2 raised to power 2. So here we are, so in this case we can cut down 3 and 3, 7 and 7. So there is one theorem that is related to this and it says that denominators should have prime factors only in 2 and 5. So you can see that prime factors at denominator is in 2 and 5 only. So therefore it is a terminating decimal number. So that's your answer for question number 9. Now moving on to question number 10. We have a rational number in its decimal expansion is 327.7081 what can you say about the prime factors of q when this number is expressed in the form of p by q so we know that we have this number now what i will do is i will remove point or the decimal when we remove the decimal from here we need to put four zeros at denominator so it will be 10000 now it is in the form of p over q. Now we need to tell them what will be the q factors. So 10,000 can be written as in terms of prime factor, prime factors. So it can be written as 2 raised to power 4 and 5 raised to power 4. So q has two factors that is 2 raised to power 4 and 5 raised to power 4. So that's your answer for question number. Thank you for watching this.